239, aluminum, which has a cell potential, which is a E notch, of negative 2.07 volts is more easily oxidized than iron, which has a cell potential of negative uh, 0.477 volts. And yet when they are both exposed to the environment, untreated aluminum has a very good corrosion resistance, while the corrosion resistance of untreated iron is poor. What might explain this observation? Okie dokie. So it seems like we have two different metals reacting with the environment. So we have aluminum, which I will just write out as aluminum, AL, and we have iron, which is Fe. Now, they did give us the cell potentials, and I notice that they are both negative values. Now, since we're talking about corrosion, corrosion always occurs when you are oxidizing. So you're undergoing oxidation, and oxidation for a spontaneous cell will happen at the anode. And the rule here is that the more negative you are, so the more down you go on your E cell, the, the, not the E cell, but the cell potential of your, your metal or your substance, the lower that value is, the better it is at being a anode. So it's the chances are of becoming oxidized or going under oxidation is greater. And that's why corrosion will happen. So because aluminum has a standard potential of negative 2.07 volts and the standard potential of iron is only negative 0.477 volts, that's why it says that aluminum is more easily oxidized because aluminum has a lower number. So between the two of them, aluminum has a lower number. It's more easy to oxidize. So that's that part. So lower the number, easier to oxidize. But now the thing is, well, this kind of is like, you know, it's kind of like flipped because if aluminum is easier to oxidize, it's going to oxidize faster. And one would think that the corrosion on aluminum would be much greater, right? But instead, it turns out that the iron has much more corrosion, much more oxidation. So the thing is, is that when you're losing electrons, right, when Al turns into Al3+, I'm taking it just from here, right, that means that I lost three electrons. This is the, this is the corrosion equation. This is your oxidation equation. And I'll do the same for the iron. It's the same charge, right? The iron is going to lose the three electrons. So the three electrons have to be here. And they're both undergoing oxidation. They're both going to potentially corrode. But now here's the thing that they don't tell you. Now, it's easier to talk about it in terms of iron. Because what happens to iron over time? Well, iron rusts, right? it turns a different color. That's the rusting, right? Usually iron, when it rusts, it turns from a nice, like like if you think of maybe like a cast iron, right? If anybody has cast iron skillet, here's my, here's my lovely picture of a cast iron skillet. Generally, it's all, you know, coated like a grayish black. But the number one rule for owning a cast iron skillet is that you cannot just leave this with water or have it exposed to the environment with water droplets on it because the iron on your cast iron skillet is going to start to rust. And with rusting, it's going to change color. It's going to turn like a copperish color, right? Rust is usually like an orange color. But the thing is, is that orange, that orange cover, right? The rusting making the iron a three plus, this is not protective. There is no protection when iron turns into rust and turns into that different color. And generally what happens is that the iron, the, the rust will flake. And when rust flakes off, you're exposing it to more iron, which will then rust some more. It will turn to more iron color. No protection. The rust is going to flake. 
And the process just keeps going and going and going and going. So the corrosion resistance of untreated iron, they say it's untreated because you're just like leaving it to the atmosphere, right? Untreated means that you don't paint it. But if you paint iron, there's a less likely chance that, you know, that iron is going to rust. So the corrosion resistance of untreated iron is poor because rust flakes. And because rust flakes off, the process keeps going and going and going. But now, the thing here is that when aluminum uh, is exposed to the environment, well, yeah, uh, you know, something changes. And what this is made of is aluminum oxide. So aluminum oxide is made because when you're exposing something to the environment, you're reacting it with O2. So now you have aluminum oxide. On the other hand, when you know rust is formed, this comes from iron oxide, specifically iron three oxide, because that's what the charge was. And that's what forms the rust. But the thing here is that iron oxide has a protective letter, le uh, has a protective layer. And uh, like it's not like rust because once that protective layer is formed when it is made or when it's exposed to the environment, there is no flaking. No flaking. And a good example of this idea where you actually form a protective layer and no flaking will occur, so like no, you know, continuous corrosion is going to occur, is the Statue of Liberty, right? In the beginning, Statue of Liberty, right here, here she is, right, she's holding whatever. In the, in you know, back in the day when they, when they brought the Statue of Liberty over, uh, she was not that patina, uh, bluish, greenish color. She was like a copper color, but... When copper oxidizes, right, when it, um, you know, it gets exposed to the environment, th it turns color. And her color that she turned was a bluish color. But that is now a protective sheet for her so that you don't see the Statue of Liberty flaking and, like, corrosion is happening and she's, like, wearing down. She, that protective color, that protective covering is going to keep her from corrosion. So... That's interesting, but that basically answers the question. So aluminum has good corrosion resistance because aluminum oxide has that protective layer, so no flaking, but the iron makes the rust, and that is not a protected layer because it just keeps flaking and corrosion is going to happen. And that's it. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I hope you all are having a great day. Keep studying hard. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.